Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Electrosoul. This video is going to be about a series that I started on TikTok. It's called Emotional Tea on the Zodiac Sign. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going through each sign and I'm pointing out things about each sign about how they deal with their emotions and things like that. I'm only on Gemini currently. So in this video, I'm going to be covering each and every single sign because I feel like it's important for people to know what each sign goes through because it really is overlooked. You know, people don't really pay attention to those things people just like to hear about the strengths and weaknesses of each zodiac sign but these are things that happens to every single sign and it's just isn't really talked about so before we get started with that let me just say that i do have a spiritual store called electrosoul.co in which i sell spiritual jewelry as seen here 999 the number of beginnings and endings i also sell other angel number hoop earrings i sell angel number purses angel number clothing angel number hair clips i also sell crystals sages incenses and I do spiritual coaching and spiritual readings. So if you're looking to enhance your spiritual abilities, you could send me an email, DM me, however you want to do it so that we can get started. You can follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like this video and you feel like it resonates with you by the end, go ahead and share it with somebody else that you feel like could learn from it too. If you need a little bit of help before you watch this video to understand the basics behind each and every single sign, you can watch the video that I just released on Sunday about the basics of the zodiac signs just so that you could grasp a little bit more knowledge before you watch this video because i'm not going to go into depth about each zodiac sign now let's get into the emotional tea on zodiac signs so the first one is aries now something that i can really say about the emotional depth of an aries is that they are known to be the fired up cancer because they are emotional like a cancer but they deal with it in a completely different way they cry a lot more than you think even though they're always putting up this wall of pride to make you think that they're not hurting, trust when I say that a simple statement can hurt their feelings pretty badly. And if you hurt them deep enough, they will cry in front of you because things hit home for them as well. There's also something that Aries do whenever they're really upset or whenever they're going through a period of hurt. Their coping mechanism, humor. <laughs> they will make jokes out of anything, everything, whatever it is in order to make themselves feel better. That's why it's so common to meet so many Aries that are so openly out there and just always spreading jokes and making humor out of everything. It's because they really do feel everything, just like a Cancer, but they deal with it completely different. So if you have an Aries in your life that is acting too prideful that you just know that something isn't 110%, keep an eye out for them because they're probably hurting a lot more than they're expressing to you. They feel embarrassed to let out their emotions, but they eventually know that they have to. They're not the type to hold it in for years they will let it out but they need to find somebody that they trust in order to do that now the next sign is taurus now tauruses are also very sensitive they're definitely the type to cry if you hurt their feelings now these ones are very prideful they will fight through all of their emotions by being stubborn af like i'm telling you they will never sit down with somebody and be like you hurt my feelings you need to apologize They'll hold it against you, they'll give you attitude, and then they'll wait for you to apologize to them. And then they'll forgive you right away because they're super sweet like that. But all they really want is an apology. They care a lot more than people think, probably even more than they think. They don't really look to impress other people. They really just want to make themselves happy. But whenever they feel like somebody's mad at them, it's going to affect them because they don't want to have to deal with that. They don't want to have to deal with somebody who's angry at them because they can't deal with the fact that they made somebody angry. Of course, if you go up to them and tell them about something that they did wrong, they're probably going to deny it and say that they didn't do anything wrong. But at the end of the day, Taurus will eventually admit to their mistakes and try to make change. Because even though they don't care about what people think and even though they're not trying to impress people, People, they do like to people please just a little bit only because it makes them feel good Tauruses are more sensitive than you think although they are the bull they do have their moments the third one is Gemini I'm gonna be completely honest Gemini's do not really deal with emotions because they don't care but at the same time they care about everything it's a very mixed thing they just don't have empathy for people the way that other signs would because they just want to do what they want to do you know they're not really thinking about the outcome of their decisions and what other people might think about it they just want to make themselves happy but if you do go up to Gemini and you decide that you want to tell them your tea they're going to try to give you advice although they're not going to snuggle you and they're not going to kiss you and hug you and all this shit to try and make you feel better they are going to spit out some facts because that's exactly what Gemini is good at. 
communicating. Geminis do feel a lot of things though. I'm not gonna sit here and say that they're completely dead inside because they're not. They really do care. They care about plants, they care about animals, they care about their family and friends, they care about so many things and it's really just like a universal world thing. It seems to be that Geminis get upset more over the way that the earth is as opposed to a personal situation that's going on in their life. If Geminis are upset, they won't usually cry. They'll just sit in their room and kind of just loathe and not really do anything. They tend to keep to themselves a little bit more when they're upset and you'll noticeably see the difference because they're not being completely outgoing as they once were. The fourth sign is Cancer. Please, Cancers are the most emotional zodiac sign from the entire zodiac sign. That is exactly why their opposite, Capricorn, is very unemotional, as so said. Cancers wear their heart on their sleeves. They care so much about what people think. They will cry in your face if you've hurt their feelings hard enough. They do have a lot of pride though, don't get me wrong. They do know how to put up a fight. Their anger is very serious. If they're angry, you're going to know because they are going to snap, but then they're gonna cry after. They're gonna feel the emotions after. They tend to sit and think about their feelings all the time. So even if something happened to them three months ago, they're going to be thinking about that thing even three months later. And it's not going to be something where they're going to say, I'm so tired of thinking about this thing. They're gonna be just as into it in the third month as they were the first day that that thing happened. Y'all wanna know what cancers remind me of? My sister made this painting out of oil crayons. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called. But literally, as soon as I was saying that cancers are always dealing with emotions and always have something going on inside, this is exactly what I thought about. The fact that she's blue, she's crying. She's a person that just has been through a lot of pain and is trying to change for the better. If you have a cancer in your life that is always dealing with something and they just need somebody to vent out to, try to be there for them because trust me, it could benefit them a lot in the long run. Cancers that don't deal with their emotions eventually hit rock bottom really hard because of all the emotions that are literally sitting inside and are just not being released. The next sign is Leo. Now, don't even get me started on Leos. Leos are honestly so freaking emotional, more emotional than people describe them as, and they hide it very well because of their pride. They do not want anyone to see them suffering. They're like a fire sign Capricorn because of the fact that they will not let a soul see them in pain. They do not want to appear as weak. They do not want people to know that they be going through shit. Although there are some Leos that do use social media and things like that to vent out their emotions and they just really feel like they need to vent and let it all out no matter who's listening. But regardless of this, Leos really do feel bad when they hurt people. They don't like to hurt people because then it makes themselves feel like bad people. They don't like to feel bad. They like to feel like the baddest bitch at all times. Leos, if anything, get more angry than they do sad, so you probably wouldn't catch them crying unless a lover or somebody like that directly hurt their feelings. But in general, they do get pretty mad. Like, if somebody hurt their feelings, they're gonna be pissed at you as opposed to being upset. So the way that they really deal with their emotions is by letting out the anger and venting to people. That is like a number one thing. They love to let everything out because they don't like holding shit in. Like I said, they do not want to ruin their image. Number six is Virgo. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, Virgos are worse than Leo with pride, 110%. If you think a Leo's bad, go meet a Virgo because Virgos will never let their guard down. They will never let you know what is wrong with them. They do not want a soul to know. They want to appear as perfectionists. They want to appear as always in touch, always doing their thing. They do not want people to see them being messy, being upset, being sad, being emotional. It's just not in it for them. So the way that Virgos deal with their emotions is that they don't. They do not deal with them, unfortunately. They will deal with it by doing work, by distracting themselves, by doing schoolwork, by hustling at their job. Virgos are the kind of people that need trusted people by them. They will not confide in you if they feel like they can't. They need to feel a very special bond to you. They need to see that you're always there and they need to see that you truly care in order for them to actually let their guard down. Virgos do cry, but only at night, in bed, when nobody is watching. They probably wouldn't even let their significant other see them upset. <laughs> Virgos are so funny, but honestly, they're the baddest bitch that you didn't know that you needed. This sign is also a sign that gets angry pretty quickly. So if you made them upset, they're going to hold a grudge against you. They might not confront you about it, but trust me, it's going to be there and you're going to see it because they're going to be a little passive aggressive with you. And then when it gets to a point, they will snap at you. Just wait for it. Number seven is Libra. Libras are crybabies, just like the cardinal signs. Oh my God, I just realized that. 
Capricorns, Cancers, Aries, and Libras are all crybabies and they're all cardinal signs. That's very nice. But it's true. Libras are very, very, very emotional. They're like a more indecisive version of Cancer. They will cry if you hurt their feelings. They will cry if you let them down. They will cry if you don't hear them out. They will cry if you don't side with them. They will cry and they will cry. They're a very sweet sign. They love to connect with people. They love to be on everybody's good side. But unfortunately, they can't always be on everybody's good side. And when they're not on somebody's good side, it bothers them to their very core. They will not sleep well knowing that somebody is mad at them. Somebody does not like them. Somebody has made it known that they don't like them. They feel really connected to other people. So when they don't feel connected to somebody, they feel like they've done something wrong, even if it's something that is not personal at all. The way that Libras deal with their emotions is by letting it out. I'm sure that you've met a Libra in your life who is extremely outgoing and will tell you all the tea because they can't hold it in any longer. They will vent to you and they will vent to you and they will vent to you and they will be expecting advice in return they need somebody who is responsive to their needs so if they're coming to you talking about my man cheated on me trust me that they are looking for advice they're not the kind of people to just talk it out to get it off their chest they're the kind of people that need somebody who really cares just like they do so take care of your libras because the pain that they're showing to you is what's there and there's probably a bit more that you don't even know about number eight is scorpio man are you kidding me scorpios are something else that is why they're capricorns bff because honestly we both just vibe on that level we cannot talk about our emotions scorpios cannot scorpios are not good at dealing with their emotions at all they're definitely one of the most self-destructive signs of all the zodiac signs they're the type to do messed up things and ruin their own careers ruin their own image ruin everything just because of the pain that they feel on the inside instead of going to therapy they're like let's go rob walmart i could find something useful there yeah they're not thinking about therapy they're thinking about doing some shit to help cope with their needs in order to get tea out of scorpio you need to really push them to tell you and even if they do tell you best believe that they're leaving some information out because they just don't want to let it out they feel embarrassed it's an embarrassing feeling knowing that everybody and their mama knows what's going on with you and even if it's one person they feel like if they tell that one person everybody's going to find out that person knowing scorpio's pain is enough for scorpio to feel completely vulnerable scorpios cry so freaking much they will cry in the shower, they will cry watching a movie, they will cry eating ice cream, they will cry going to sleep, they will cry waking up because they are always feeling emotions, they are always on edge, literally. And as soon as you come around, they're gonna be like, wipe, wipe, wipe. They're gonna pretend like they were completely fine because that's just the way that they are. They do not like to deal with their emotions. It makes them feel very upset to relive the things that they went through. Please, for the love of God, if you have a Scorpio in your life, a Scorpio Sun, a Scorpio Moon, a Scorpio Rising, Scorpio Mars, anything, Mercury, look after them and make sure that they're all right because they'd be going through some shit next up we got number nine is Sagittarius now Sagittarius this is another prideful one because this is a fire sign as we know the three fire signs are pretty damn prideful but Sagittarius hits a little bit different because they are actually not as emotional as Leo and Aries are Sagittarius can deal with shit they just be going through it they're like whatever I don't fucking care that's their life model. I don't care because they don't. They definitely are more emotional than they come off as, but they still are less emotional than Aries and Leo. Really with Sagittarius is that they're the type to just get upset about things. The only way that they'll really cry for something is if someone or something that they really care about gets completely destroyed or like dies or something just bad happens to them. Every single Sagittarius I know is attached to one specific show. So turn around and ask a Sagittarius in their life, what show changed their life because i'm telling you they're going to tell you something and they're going to reflect on that hope they're going to be like this show holds a special place in my heart it changed my life i get so sad every time it's because they put their emotions into things they love music they love specific things you'll never catch a sagittarius hitting you up being like man i need a vent i need to cry right now absolutely not but trust me when i say if they watch that special show they listen to that special music they're going to be letting out some tears because that is where their safe spot is. They're not good with dealing with emotions. They're not good when other people cry to them. They'll try their best, but really... <laughs> The next one up is Capricorn. As a Capricorn, I can tell you that we feel as much as Cancers do, but we express them as good as Scorpios do. We don't express them. Capricorns feel so, so, so cringy whenever they even think about venting to somebody. It's literally something that just won't happen. And so to say honestly, Capricorns do not deal with their emotions. We don't. 
just like scorpio we find it extremely embarrassing having to open up letting people know that we have vulnerabilities that we go through things because we always want to put up this exterior that we are the strongest that nothing ever affects us that we are always on top we do not want people to see the side of us that is extremely emotional though capricorns are very emotional and we find love in everything the only difference is that we can't express it like a cancer would we will cry to sleep we will cry waking up we will cry in the shower we will cry eating ice cream and watching our favorite movies just like a scorpio would for the very reason that we just feel like no one will ever understand us completely however whenever capricorn does find one specific person that they feel that they can truly confide in they are going to air out that hoe they are going to let that person know i'm going through this i'm going through that i'm going through this i'm going through that and even with that person they might not 110 percent let it out they're going to tell you what they're going through without letting you know what they're going through next up for number 11 we got aquarius aquariuses and gemini's i feel are very very similar when it comes to dealing with their emotions because aquarius Aquariuses are not as empathetic, just like a Gemini is. They do feel bad for people, they are very compassionate, they're good listeners, they give great advice, but the only thing is that they just don't feel connected to everything. In fact, they barely feel connected to anything at all. They'd rather keep a distance with their emotions than have to deal with them head on. Although Aquariuses are not very attached to their feelings, they will vent to you if they feel like they have to. They will let it out because they feel like who the fuck cares? They don't care about who's judging them, they just want to let it out. But as they're letting out their emotions they're not going to reflect on it and expect advice from you they don't care about your advice they just want to let it out aquariuses care a lot about the world they care a lot about the way that things are going they love to keep in touch with everything that's happening in this world because they want to make sure that everything is straight that everyone is doing good in fact just like gemini the state of the world would affect them more than a certain situation in their personal life However, Aquarius' personal life does affect them as well. The only difference is that they care a little bit more about other people in the world as opposed to their own personal problems. Now the last sign is Pisces. As y'all know, Pisces are dreamers. They are super in touch with their emotions. They feel everything and they acknowledge the fact that they do. They have no problem venting to you if they feel like they have to because they want to let everything out and they want advice and they want people to cater to them. They want people to hug them and to kiss them and to make them feel better. They're all about emotional conversations. These things do not make them feel cringy. They love to have open communications with others. If somebody comes up to them and is like, I'm crying, my boyfriend just cheated on me. They'll be like, okay, let's watch a movie. Let's eat some chocolate. Like they're very sweet sweet like that and so the point here is that pisces are amazing with their emotions they're literally a water sign for that reason because they're so in touch with every emotion that they have they care so much about everything about everyone about themselves about others their family their friends every single thing pisces don't really like to deal with the fact that they did something wrong and so they'll try to make other people feel bad because they don't want to deal with it but at the end of the day pisces do know when they're being wrong and they will apologize if they feel like they should although sometimes it does take a little bit of time because pisces can be prideful but they're more of an emotional prideful you know they want to have that guard up but they just can't they literally cannot it's not in their blood their mind is always on 100 they're always thinking of new and different things they're always thinking of their emotions of the emotions of others they're always dealing with emotions up in here and so be gentle to the pisces in your life they might be a little bit crazy but they're very sweet and they mean well all right y'all that's basically it for the 12 zodiac signs emotional tea on each and every single one of them each and every single sign goes through certain things that we do not know about no matter how much you think you know a sign you will never know unless you are that sign and so be compassionate to other people be empathetic try to help others where you can because it's super important to help people where you can especially if they come to you about something if they're confiding in you and if you see somebody in your life that is just not opening up you could try a little bit whatever you can try to figure out their love language so that you could accommodate to their needs all right y'all thank y'all so much again i love y'all so much i'll see y'all this sunday for another video god bless and take care bye